Hello friends, welcome to Electrical Design Engineering YouTube channel. Today is our lecture number 21 of our free course ETAP. In this lecture, we will calculate the line to line fault current, line to ground fault current, and line to line ground fault currents. In the previous lectures, we have calculated the three phase current initial symmetrical short circuit current that was 12 kilo amperes. Then we had calculated the peak short circuit current of a three phase. Then we had calculated the breaking current of the three phase that is line to line three phase fault. And then we have also calculated the steady state current of that three phase. Now, first of all, we should know how many types of faults we have. There are generally four types of fault. Number one is three phase fault, which we have calculated from lecture number 18. You can get the, all the calculations of the short circuit analysis. And then there is a phase to ground fault or line to ground fault. And then there is a phase to phase fault that, or you can say line to line fault. And then there is a double line to ground fault or phase to phase to ground fault. These four types of faults are. And we, we have completed the three phase fault. Now we have to complete our remaining um, three faults. First of all, we will calculate the phase to ground fault. We have represented it by IK1 double dash. IK1 double dash is equal to root 3 CUN divided by Z1 plus Z2 plus Z0. Here Z1 is equal to the Z2, so it becomes IK double one dash becomes root 3 CUN twice of Z1 plus Z0. Z1 is the positive sequence impedance and Z2 is the negative sequence impedance and Z0 is the zero sequence impedance. To calculate the first, uh, phase to ground fault or line to ground fault, we should know about the value of zero sequence impedance. The positive sequence impedance and negative sequence impedance are equal, but we have to calculate the zero sequence uh, impedance to calculate the phase to, line, phase to ground fault or line to ground fault. Zero sequence impedance, either you can get it from the manufacturer if you want to know the zero sequence impedance of a uh, transformer or a generator or a uh, conductor or a transmission line, you can get it from the manufacturer. If the manufacturer is not giving, uh, you are or you are doing primary analysis of short circuit analysis of our system, then you can use the more sense estimated values of for zero sequence impedance. According to this, the zero sequence impedance Z0 is very difficult to determine accurately for multiple grounded neutral systems but is usually greater than the positive sequence impedance ZL. If we assume that Z0 is related to ZL by a constant multiplier, we may write ZL0 is equal to K0 of ZL. It has given different values. This is a table of their estimated values of K0 and accordingly he calculated the zero sequence impedance. But what we have studied, I have studied various fault analysis, short circuit analysis and we have also performed some analysis by himself. In that basis, what we found the K value Z0 is generally 1.03 times of Z1. It uh, remains around this 1.03 or 1.05, 1.06. Around this, it remains. These are both values. Now, it is your choice to whether you uh, go for 1.03 of Z1 or you can use the Morrison table to calculate the zero sequence impedance. But in, the, in this lecture, we will take Z0 is equal to 1.03 of Z1. IK double dash becomes now. Now we have to put the value of Z0. Zn, that is the resistance of the neutral. If the neutral is solidly grounded, then Zn is equal to 0. If there is some ground resistance between the neutral and the ground, then Z0 net becomes Z0 plus 3 times of Zn. But we have considered here the solidly grounded, so our Zn is, is equal to 0. So IK double H becomes root 3 C U N divided by 2 I of Z1 plus Z0. Putting the value of Z0 is equal to 1.03 of Z1, it becomes IK double dash is equal to 0 0.99 of IK double dash. That the initial symmetrical uh, short circuit graph three phase current. Putting the value of IK double dash, which is a uh, table in this case in our uh, example, so IK1 double dash is equal to 0 0.99 into 12, it becomes 11.8 kilo amperes. In this way, we have calculated the line to ground uh, fault current or uh, ground 
or phase to ground for the current. This is but initial symmetrical current of line to ground. But you have to calculate the peak breaking and steady state for current, current like three phase. We have calculated for the three phase fault current. Now we can convert the phase to phase fault current that is IK2 double dash. IK2 double dash is equal to Cu and divided by Z1 plus Z2. Here there is no uh, uh, Z0 is not pay, playing the uh, role here. You have the positive frequency impedance and negative frequency are con considered because this uh, Z0 frequency impedance is not here you know, in play. So it, it, uh, it equals Cu and twice up Z1 because Z1 is equal to Z2. So it becomes twice up Z1. It becomes root 3 to uh, root 3 divided by 2 of IK double dash. You know uh, Z1 and Z2 are the positive and negative frequency impedance. IK uh, double dash is equals root 3 by 2 into 2 where it becomes 10.39 kilo amperes. You can uh, do not be hurry. You can check these all these things when we perform the ATAP analysis. You can see these current as this fall line to ground fault current line to line fault currents are coming exactly around these values. Now phase to phase or to ground uh, fault that is double line to ground fault current is IK3 double dash is equal to root 3 CUN divided by Z1 plus twice of Z0. It becomes uh, you know Z1 Z2 are the positive sequence impedance and negative and zero sequence impedance. Putting the value of Z0 is equal to 1.03 of Z1, it becomes IK3 double dash is equal to 0 0.98 of ik double dash it becomes 0 0.98 into 2 well it becomes 10.39 kilo amperes thank you